For the second straight day, investigators combed an area near FSCJ South Campus where a couple found bones while looking for a missing dog. Sky Action News Jax flew over the area this afternoon and we spotted a command center. Action News Jax Bridget Matter is there live and Bridget, the discovery of these remains is keeping a local family on edge. And Tanika, they, like so many families in our area, are waiting for a positive identification in this case. Now, almost 24 hours after that discovery was made, investigators, they remain on scene here. There's several police vehicles. They've even set up a command center as they work this case and wait to find out what exactly was found here. Wednesday, investigators set up a command center as detectives combed through a wooded area after two people searching for their dog stumbled upon remains Tuesday. While investigators work to identify the remains, families of missing people in the area wonder if their loved one has been found. And every time a body is found, your heart would miss a beat. You just go on a low, hoping it could be John hoping it could end a nightmare you're living for the last 18 and a half years. Peg Rowan's son, John Rowan, disappeared in 2001. Family says he would never leave his young children and wife behind. Rowan's SUV was discovered near the Orlando International Airport, but he was never seen again. Close to 19 years later, the Rowans are left to wonder where their son is. I never, never thought for a minute that we'd have to wait this long for answers. And they'll wait to find out the identification of these remains. All the family wants to do is find my son's body and lay him to rest. And investigators, they've asked us to stay back from this scene. The area where a photographer is pointing right now actually was where a JEA vacuum truck was sitting for a while. They just left in the last hour. Investigators, they suspect foul play in Rowan's case. It will be weeks, maybe even months, before the remains here are identified. On the south side, Bridget Matters, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News Jax. Another high profile missing persons case in Duval County is the disappearance of Mark Degner and Brian Hayes. And these are age progression pictures of the boys from 2015. Both of them would now be well into their 20s. The two boys disappeared after they walked out of what is now James Weldon Johnson Middle School in 2005. February marks 15 years since their disappearance.